This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hi, I'm Mark Mullins, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Record breaking Let's violence go. in Indianapolis has That's prompted faith go. leaders and community That's leaders to brainstorm go. ways to find a solution. Friday night, they held a peace march near 34th and Keystone. The group City of Peace Coalition is asking Mayor Hogsett to add a public safety director to his administration to help cut down on the violence. There is a group of uh, uh, faith leaders who I uh, have met with and uh, who I profoundly respect. Uh, who do believe that adding a public safety director uh, would be um, meaningful. Uh, I'm thoughtfully considering their proposal. The group plans to hold these types of marches weekly, posting the time, date, and location a few days in advance on social media so more people can take part in them. Governor Holcomb has signed his executive order mandating masks in public spaces across the state. It goes into effect on Monday, but part of the initial plan is missing. We told you Holcomb initially said violating the order would be a Class B misdemeanor, but the order issued today does not include criminal penalties. This comes after several sheriffs across the state announced they would not enforce mask requirements. Instead, state and local health departments will be responsible for enforcement by educating Hoosiers on the importance of wearing masks according to the order. I'm anticipating your question. The answer is yes. It will stay dry for the weekend. The next best chance for rain on a widespread basis will come Monday. The showers and thunderstorms to start next week will mark a transition then to cooler temperatures as we go Tuesday through Friday. Here's your seven day planner temperatures as we mentioned. Peak at 90 on Sunday with the more humidity it will feel more like 96. Cooler next week.